Hi guys. Happy Thursday. My glasses are foggy. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Turn this off. Hi everybody. How we doing? How we doing? How's your Thursday? How's it looking? I literally just like just woke up. Just woke up. My eyes are so close. Um, let me grab something back here. Hello, Sid. Looks like we got some newbies in there and some regulars. Natalie, Nico, Sarcatro. Did I pronounce that properly? Good to see you guys. We have a good one today. I know Sid has been waiting for this cactus. A couple of people have been excited about this one. I know that people get intimidated by the painting sometimes, even though I don't want you to, because I do break them down simpler. But that's why this cactus one, I think people jumped on, because it's as easy as it looks. I swear. What the? Can you guys hear that? My computer just is taken off to the moon all of a sudden. I don't know why the fan is just at an all-time high. Are you okay, Luca? Computer stressed me out. T -t 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 to the moon! Literally. It sounds like an airplane just... Or Dan's, like, PlayStation or something. It's just taken off under my desk here. Yo, Zero! Hi there. Look at all y'all familiar faces. Good to see you guys. I'm just, like, pulling myself together. Just... Give me a moment. I just chugged the coffee. Even though I'm probably going to go to bed right after. You know? Story of my life. The reason why my day is such a mess is because as some of you, most of you know, because it looks like most of you have been here before. Um, I've been working on some paintings for an apartment building. 30 in total, but they've been split 15-15. And they've just been taking me so long, like so much longer than I anticipated. And when paintings take me longer than I anticipated, I like get pissed. <laughs> Guys, I get mad. I hate when things take me longer than I want. Uh, so it's been just a mental stump. Uh, I've been, what I've been saying is it's been taking up lots of mental and physical space because they're like really big paintings. And I finished the last portrait this morning. 10a 10 maybe 11 this morning which felt really good but then i had to go to bed but i also had a massage at two so i slept for like an hour and a half i woke up went to my massage went to the post office went to my chiro appointment came home went back to bed and then woke up now so it's you're getting a wild taylor today you guys i'm running on fumes it's gonna be great, okay? <laughs> but I still, the project's not fully done. I still have four abstract paintings to finish. They're almost done already, which is nice. They're like, I'd say 90% of the way done already. I was gonna do them tonight, but I think I'm just gonna go to bed. I'll probably do them tomorrow. But it feels good to have them done. Like I told my therapist, I was like, I'm going to cry when they're done. And she's like, oh, are you going to be sad? Like, you're going to miss them? I was like, no, good riddance. <laughs> Just kidding. Not good riddance, but like, no, I'm going to cry of like joy. Like they're out of our apartment. They're like spread out through the hallway. Like it's, it's time for them to go. <laughs> but okay. Enough about me. Let's get to paint nighting. Okay. Painting some cutie cacti cactuses. What's the proper word? I'm pretty sure it's cacti. Um, we only need a couple colors today. You can decide to if you want a different background. It doesn't have to be pink. Cacti. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Also, hello, Lisa. You got this, kiddo. Oh, you're the best. Um, totally up to you color-wise. Pink, obviously, is my favorite color. <laughs> One of them. Actually, green is, so... Both of my favorite colors are being used in here. That's nice. Uh, let's see what color I want to use here. 
But um, the color, the background's being painted last, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm assuming you want your cactus to be green, but it doesn't have to be the world's your oyster. You know, you know. I'm probably going to use a light green permanent, but I'm probably going to regret that. But that's okay. Um, let's go over the rules quick. Let's just get to painting. I really think today <laughs> I'm going to kick myself for saying it because whenever I do, it usually takes long. But I'm telling you guys that this is going to be so fast, especially if you're used to coming to these before. We're going to be okay. I believe in you. Let's go over the little rules quick and then uh, get painting. Okay. So number one. I'm not like a trained teacher by any means. I'm just an artist, a full-time artist who's been painting my whole life. So if I'm teaching something and it seems weird and wrong and unorthodox, it probably is. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Just send me a line. Let me know. Ask questions. If something is taught too fast, like tell me to slow down. Ask me to repeat myself. Totally fine. All your questions will help people in the future because as you guys know, this video is going right up on YouTube. I can see right now it's recording, so no mess ups like last week. Um, and it can help people at home watching that's not logged into caffeine. It can help people watching YouTube later. Ask questions anytime. They're appreciated. Um, number two is start with pencil if that's what you're more comfortable with. Um, I always teach how to start with paint. With paint. I prefer starting with paint, but if you are more comfortable with a pencil, go for it. Um, I just suggest not pushing too hard on your canvas because the graphite will dust off and your paint will catch it and mix and get muddy colors. And that's never a good time for anyone. Um, number three is just don't treat your painting too precious. Okay. Be confident in making mistakes <laughs> if you're really stressed that you're gonna put on the wrong brush stroke like you're not even gonna have a fun time and it's gonna be stressful so just think of it going in that you could ruin it and then usually you don't because you're thinking not like that nico's the pencil crew hello Nico. um yeah pencil's fine this one's gonna be easy you don't not gonna have to pencil it for very long but pencil crew for life uh number four Trust the process, okay? Acrylic paint can go over top of anything. You make a mistake, you can put some white over top of it, and it's, it wasn't even there. It didn't even happen. So if you trust the process, wait till the end. You're going to have a beautiful painting. People always love it in the last five minutes. Usually they are confused all the way through. It's not going to look like mine. They don't ever. All of our paintings look different. That's the best part, right? Um... <laughs> Right, guys? Uh, what's next? Water's your friend. For sure, for sure, water is your friend. Um, if paint is pulling weird... <laughs> right, thanks. For helping me out today. Um, if your paint is not pulling well across the canvas, but it's getting caught in the grain of the canvas, usually it's because there's not enough water on your brush. Toss some water on there and it'll usually solve the problem. I try my best to tell you guys like water amounts as we go, but sometimes I forget. Another thing you can ask me if you need. And last but not least, let's just like have fun. Let's forget about whatever's going on. We're just going to paint some beautiful cactuses. Cacti. Take that back. I'm going to say that 40 million times today. I can feel it already. Okay. And break. <laughs> let's go, you guys. Take out a green. Any green. Whatever green you like. Like I said, I think I'm going to use light green permanent. I'm just saying that hesitantly because I feel like I usually complain every time I use this color. We'll just go for it anyway. All right, so I am getting out a green, but then you're also going to get out a little bit of white. Sorry for the sound there. Oh, I didn't put a white sheet down, so you guys aren't going to be able to see that today. So green and white onto the palettes. I'm listening to a new playlist today. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Okay, green and white. Like I said, pencilers, you're not gonna have to pencil for very long today. Just smacking everything. Oh, that's fine. Okay. 
Let's get out a relatively smaller brush. Pointed usually works best. Imagine like it's like a pencil, right? Maybe. Okay, and you're gonna wanna get it wet. Wet is important because water's your friend. And can you guys, oh, you can't even see, I keep messing that up on the camera here. Let's see if, here's my little hand over here. You can see it going in the water. And we are gonna scoop water from our cup, whatever you wanna call this, onto the palette right by your green, okay? And you're gonna mix your green into the water to make a nice chocolate milky consistency. I have to copyright that term apparently too. Oh, hello, tender bear. May everyone have a happy Thursday. Good to see you. We're painting cactuses. Cact there we go, there's a second time. I told you it was gonna happen. We're just painting some cacti, <laughs> okay? So, whew, we are going to acknowledge our whole canvas. This, what's great is this painting, oops, where is it? Over here is done on the exact same size of what I'm doing right now. The thing that's also nice is that it's kind of easy to play around with it. If you paint off the edge, not a big deal. If you paint a part bigger than I do, not a big deal. It's a cactus. It's going to be irregular and weird. So let's just decide where we want to put the first bubble body part of our cactus, okay? I didn't even draw you guys a post-it today because it's going to be so easy. So let's go like kind of in the middle and let's just draw a big oval. How's that? And look, see how I went over it a couple times. It's okay if it's not perfect. I'm using that chocolate milky consistency of paint. And I'm just painting that first big... <laughs> I thought I just called it a body part of the cactus, but whatever. It is. Okay. And again, remember, you don't really have to do them the same as I am either. You can make your cactus different if you want. Let's put another one, a small one right here. It's kind of like a teardrop. Aw, oh, two little eggs, just cuddling. Hi Taylor, excited to catch me live. CB Waters, hello. Press your little, oh my gosh. <laughs> Steven Mandy, so, so I think I can see my vision's terrible. Are you guys painting or just coming to hang out? That's exciting. I'm the crazy star. Oh, you're not a crazy stalker. Oh my gosh, you look exactly like my two friends in your little thing. But no, you just, you got, you knew how to get a hold of me. I tell people to stalk me always if you don't, if I don't respond to an email, like just keep sending them across the platforms and I'll catch you on one of them. <laughs> I actually am getting help with some of my messages, you guys. Not, I haven't told anyone that yet, but I am, I do have somebody helping me, so I'll be a ch reachable soon. And you won't have to feel like a crazy stalker to get a hold of me. <laughs> Next month's schedule will be posted this Sunday. I usually do it the last Sunday of the month. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, we're just still adding little cactus spots. Like, let's just say, oh look, that one's just going off the page. Of March, yeah, sorry, is it? Let me look at the calendar. So yeah, it'll be the 28th that I will post it for all of March, yes. I'm trying to do it, be better at planning ahead and not just like telling you guys like two days before what we're painting, that's just rude of me. Um, Where should we go here? Let's do another one. Yep. And see how they're kind of egg shaped. They're kind of crazy. It doesn't matter if they're not perfect. Oh my gosh, Casile. Hello. And thanks for the donut sit. What do you guys want to paint? You guys can let me know. I know we'll do like something St. Patrick's y, I imagine. Right? Is that the. Is that what we're doing this month? Sorry, I'm not really talking about what we're supposed to be doing painting, but I feel like it's the same. You guys. Just keep drawing some bubbles. And see how they're kind of going in different direction, like. 
Something fun for March 25th. What's on March 25th? Is that your birthday? Okay, well, usually when people tell me it's their birthday, except I have to write down because last time somebody told me it was their birthday, I said we'd paint something and I forgot. What do you want to paint, Sid? What you decide. It's your birthday. 35 years old. Awesome. Don't oh my god it. Okay, here, let's do... Maybe this one's a little more roundy, like in the example. Whoop. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if Pat and Bree are watching or ever watch this, I'm pretty sure I painted this at their house. I just found a picture of Cactus and whipped one out. We had a little paint night of our own. Let's see. Let's make this one long. And see how this is kind of still going? It's not straight. It's kind of going at an angle. It's okay if yours is straight. But I'm just copying what I did before. Let's make this one long. Boop. Cacti. <laughs> I always just feel weird saying cacti are the best. I just love, like, I love all my little cacti. They're my favorite. They're so resilient. <laughs> They're so hard to kill. Okay, what should we do over here? Let's make this one a little rounded. And again, I always say, just because we never know what type of paint you're using at home, sometimes people's paint, the quality is not the greatest, and that's okay. It, so I always tell you beforehand certain things, like, see how in the picture, whoop, there is a, a flower right here at the bottom. For some people, maybe your pink or your white wouldn't go over top your green. So you wouldn't want to paint the full circle. So maybe some of you might want to do this. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Like leave a spot where you're going to put the flower. For some people, you might not have to worry about that at all. And you can literally draw the whole circle in there and you'll paint right on top. Who cares, right? Like, I can see in the picture, in the reference, like, I can see a little bit of my green underneath. So I did just draw the circle, but just in case, you know, just in case. So then you can come up here and just ad lib where that other little part of the cactus would go. Two little babies. Cactus, nice. Thanks, Nick and Stickin. Good to see ya. You and your crazy username. A fun summer painting would be various popsicles. I have found some watercolor tutorials, but no acrylic. Okay. Ooh, that is a cute idea, actually. We can we can do it on March. That's fine. We can dream of summertime. Okay. Almost done here. Let's do a... I like the popsicle idea. Let's do a long one. It's still like kind of teardroppy, right? It's a little bit smaller at the bottom. They bow out at the top a little bit. I live in Florida. It's summer year round. Rude. <laughs> just kidding. Not rude, but oh. And I just remember last time I was in Florida, it was like middle of the night and it was so hot and humid. To be honest, I can't really handle humidity. I turn to like a wet dog. I just sweat. I like get cranky. But I would take it over. Minus 40. Okay, and then let's put another little nubbin. Boop! Right there. Check that out. That's fun. And then remember, this is like, this is the bottom sketch, the bottom drawing. So like, let's say maybe you want this to be bigger. Like there's nothing stopping you from going back in there and making it a little bit bigger. Maybe like making that one a little bit longer, like whatever you want. Let's put one more little guy right here. Boop. And you don't have to follow on exactly. Do it. You can put little knowings like, do you want to add another one right there? Me. Why not? You Instagram me an idea for the 25th. Okay, cool. Let me just. Right, Sid. 
It's like I said, last time Ashlyn asked to paint something and I said we would and then I completely forgot and we did it. But she did ask for a jellyfish and then we did already do a jellyfish on our <clears throat> on my like on my page before. On my YouTube there is a jellyfish. Okay, hey. Are we done? Cactus! We're done! This is new and adorable. Should we just check right now? I can show you now. Oh! <laughs> it's cute! You guys. Oh, it is really cute. We can paint a koala for sure. Okay, wait. What did you say? The 25th. Koala paint night. Cool. Done like dinner. Okay, are you guys ready? I like koalas too. Are you guys ready to start painting? We're going to be doing some wet on wet. If you're using pencil, we don't need it. If you aren't painting... So just in case, it's always tough if somebody's like watercoloring or like markering. The difference is that you can't paint white on, right? With acrylic, it's nice. You have white paint and you can paint on top of dark and get a lighter color. But if you're using like watercolor or pencil crayons, once you go dark, you can't really lighten it up. So you would have to acknowledge the shapes like squint at our reference photo over here. And when you squint at it, you can see like where the lighter parts are of each shape, right? So we're going to imagine that the sun is over here coming. Oh, it's just so confusing when you can see both my hands on both cameras. The sun is over here, the tip of my paintbrush coming this way. So when we're looking at the piece and every individual shape, the left hand side of each shape is going to be lighter than the right hand side. Okay. Does that make sense a little bit for people who don't care about that and just copy what I do? Ignore that comment. Um, so what we are going to do is get a bigger brush. Again, it can be totally up, depending on what size your canvas is, up to you. But you do want it bigger than what we're using before because we're trying to fill like lots of surface area at once. If you tried to color this in with this little guy, like it would be a nuisance, right? Okay? Me. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> so now we're going to avoid our chocolate milky consistency. We do want some water on our brush because we want it to pull a little easier, right? We're going to mix our brush around in the full paint, right? Chocolate milky, you can even mix it in if you want, but we want more paint than water. And let's start with this one, okay? So what we're going to do is just fill up. Remember, we have white on our canvas, on our palette. So we are going to fill it in. See how I'm kind of being conscious of my brush strokes? Like I'm following the shape of the oval. Would you guys just be weird out if I just keep calling it the body part? <laughs> the body part. The body of our cactus. You can go left, right, and whatever, but sometimes it just helps to make something look more smooth or more 3D if you have, if you follow the shape that it's supposed to go in. And again, completely up to you if you want to paint smooth to the bottom or let those little brushy strokies fly like I like to do. Okay. And so us acrylicers, this is the beauty of having acrylic with our paint. Like there's still paint on my brush. My canvas is still wet. I'm putting a slob of white on there. Like, see, there. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> see, there's still green under there. Do a couple swipes on your palette. And we are going to pick where that lighter part is, right? So let's go right in down here. Might need a little bit more water and a little more white. But we are going to work it into that paint so it kind of blends in together. And we are going to paint that one spot that's a little bit lighter. If you don't like working wet on wet, another solution is getting that green, mixing white in it, 
to mix the color that we just made on there. And then you can do it in parts, right? And then you can brush straight on the color that you just mixed. Wait for it to dry. Mix a little more white in there. There's a couple options that work. Let's see how it's lightening it up a little bit in that one spot. Oops. Always like I always have a rag close by and if things start pulling weird on the canvas, you can wipe off that extra paint and then bring that brush back to the canvas to start buffing stuff out. If you think you pulled out too far, you can go right back into your green, right? And come back over here to darken up these areas. How's that? Remember my no mistake rule isn't just to not stress you out. It's because you can really solve any problems or issues that you make quick by just covering it up with more paint. And that's the beauty of acrylic versus like oil and uh, watercolor because oil takes like a week to dry. So you like make a mistake and you're like, no, you can't fix it until it dries a week later. And then you can paint over top. Watercolor is kind of the same. It takes a long time for drawing. You have to do lots of layers, and it's a lot slower and, like, meticulous. And it's very possible to make mistakes <laughs> in watercolor. All right, I'm going back to this little shape down here. And we're kind of doing the same thing, but the beauty with this one is it's going to be underneath that flower, right? Which I just kind of forgot about, so we can pop it on top of there. We're just raving today. We're painting a beautiful cactus and we're raving. What a terrible choice of songs. <laughs> Can you guys even hear it? I know with my new microphone that it's better, like it kind of tries to avoid background sound. Um, same thing, you can go into your white, or if you don't want to go into your white, you can mix a lighter green. And with this one, there's literally just one little swipey right down the side. And acknowledge that this isn't pure white. Like, we want this to be a little bit of green because we will be using pure white later to add some highlights. Let's see how... Oops. See how... Um, we're always acknowledging that the sun's coming from the same spot, right? Over in this direction. So it's darker on the right side, lighter on the left side. And we're literally just going to go on through all of these um, <laughs> cactus bodies <laughs> until they all look like that. For somebody, if like for people who are worried about their flowers um, not being able to paint over top of green, so leaving space for them. If it helps you to draw the shape of a flower so that you see where you're supposed to go, feel free. It's very easy for us to add green if we need to just fix a little spot. That's okay. But again, I went in my straight green with just a little bit of water to fill in that little nubbin. Maybe we can even do both of these at once. Why not? I'm kind of being conscious of my brush strokes. Weep. 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 All right. And then same old thing. Nothing new. Dips your brush in water. Grab a little bit of white or light green if you um, don't want to do the wet on wet. And these ones are, again, just little swipies of that lighter color. Right into that wet. Oops. Do, do, do. How is that? I'll bring it closer for you guys to look again. But look, like I brought my white a little bit too far to the right hand side, so I'm just gonna go right back into my dark green and just fill in that spot. Beauty. How's that? Look at those little nubbins. We're doing like super simple values right now. Shading. Shading? Who knows? <laughs> okay. 
And again, we're getting our brush wet a little bit. Oops. And we're filling the shape up. Whoop. And the beauty of paint too, when I talk about that brush stroke, like being conscious of the directions of your brush strokes, like you can look like fill up the shape messily like this if you want. But then with one little swipe, you can smooth it all out afterwards. Should I do zoom in on this level? Let's see. Same on this one, right? You can just smooth that baby right out. So satisfying. Oops. Eh. Remember, maybe like this is a pretty, I don't know if I want that to be that thick of uh, a bottom. But remember, we can go in with white later and touch that up if we really want to. And the paint's still wet. We're going into our white with a messy brush. And let's just fill in these top parts again. All right. Whoop. Uh, what am I doing? My brain just checked out for a second. Remember, water's your friend when blending things. If the line ends up a little harsh, like let's bring this one in here. Remember that, like, see, that's a pretty sharp line, which is kind of cool too if you want it that style. But what you can do is get the brush clean it off on your rag kind of do it a little bit quicker i probably let that sit a little longer than i should but get your brush clean and with a little bit of water on your brush you could come back in there and like literally and like every time i go on there i come back and i clean my brush and just like buff that baby out wax on wax off all right there's no paint on my brush it's just a little bit of water just to pull that paint around. Oops, I just, eh, that's fine, I'll keep it. Mew. We're just going across and doing that whole thing. And again, if you don't want to work wet on wet, then you could realistically go through and paint all of them this solid green. And then mix a little bit of that lighter color and go back and do that lighter color on all of them. It's really depending on how you like to work or what your process is like. Let's add a little white nubbin in there. Kiki. Remember, this is green and white mixed together. With the green straight out of the tube is what you're coloring the whole cactus with. And then you add a little bit of white to the green so that it's not pure white. Because we will be using pure white to bump up some of those highlights, over-exaggerated highlights. Oops, I'm just picking around. <clears throat> and remember, it's dependent on how much detail or how much you want to go in, because you can do this. If you want more detail, now you can go in and add a little bit more white and go back and do one more streak. It's completely up to you detail-wise how far you want to go. Let's go back to the main. See them coming together though, fun. <clears throat> okay, and now let's just keep the ball rolling. Let's get some more green on our brush, straight out of the tube green with a little bit of water. And we're filling up this fat guy. I forgot how much I like this paintbrush. My art store has been closed to uh, people, <laughs> close to people. 
it's just been like curbside pickups you like order through email or call or whatever and that's like really hard i don't maybe not for all artists but for me like i need to like touch and see they can't just pick a paint color off of <clears throat> a name or just the picture of it like i need to see it or like paint brushes i need to touch them like a freak even though I'm pretty sure they don't want you to touch anything you won't buy, but um, <laughs> I need my paintbrushes are struggling because I don't treat them very nicely. I butcher them, and uh, so I need some new brushes. And I couldn't just order them without seeing and touching it. So they opened today, so I'm so excited to finally go. The same with nail polish. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah, I can look online at a little swab picture color, but it's not the same. It's like seeing it. And like, oh, I guess I, these ones don't. Golden ones have, like, I don't know if you guys can see this paint tube is obviously really butchered, but right here is like a real paint swab of the real color. Well, this brand is like a printed color, real swab of it, like straight out of the tube. And I think that's like awesome, right? But you can see exact. Um, okay, so we've got this one in the background here, and it's going to stay a little bit darker than the other ones. It's in the background, so we kind of want to push back so that people's eyes acknowledge space. Space? <laughs> I just said space. So that people's eyes can acknowledge the depth in the piece, I guess. So we're just going to put a little bit of light on this back one. I waited a little long to do wet on wet, but that's fine. So I mixed a little bit of white with that green. I'm going to add a little bit, spish, <laughs> that's a good way to spell it, S-P-E-Y-S-H, <laughs> spish. Don't forget about your spish. Like I told you guys, my brain is like, I'm running on fumes. Just kidding, I'm running on a cup of Sydney's good old coffee. I feel like I should just drink out of this every Thursday. It's a little cold. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The best the best gift ever. And I honestly, I put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> I was like, does this go in there? But I'm in like, a, whenever I'm in crush deadline mode, like I ain't doing no dishes, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, so I put it in the dishwasher and like literally before I opened it, like did a little prayer of like, please let it be allowed. It's not supposed to, but you always do. Okay, well, it, like, nothing even, like, nothing changed. Nothing is even pulled or anything. It survived. Dishwasher guarantee. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm very lazy, so if things don't last in the dishwasher, I'm going to be upset. DM you popsicle ideas. My, my birthday is August 3rd, so if you're taking birthday requests. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just take a quick. Keep going, you guys. You don't have you know what you're doing. Um, let me look at the calendar. Loving this cactus. Can't wait to try it. Yes. I know a lot of people were excited for the cactus. Um, August 3rd. August 3rd is a Tuesday. So the 5th. Popsicle. Paint night. I'll just go CB Waters DMs. Oh my gosh. It... <laughs> It just auto-corrected to cheaters DMs, but we'll see if I know what that means by the time I get to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys, sometimes I, str like, I struggle with knowing what to paint. There's some days where I'm like, I know. There's some days where I know what I want to paint, but there's a lot of days where I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so sending me ideas is always accepted or welcomed. Just call me Sierra. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, I know. I just couple of you C, B. And every time you type, okay, so the cheaters is, that's a normal autocorrect issue. Hopefully my brain will remember this conversation. I yell at my Siri all the time to do things <laughs> because I have ADD and because I am very busy with my work talking to lots of people it's just easier for me to just yell like hey Siri remind me this hey Siri whatever and I don't think about it and then like I don't look I just know like I told Siri to remind me of this and he goes okay I'll remind you 
And then three days later, the, <laughs> the reminder will come and it's like full gibberish. Like I have to play Mad Gap and be like, what was I trying to say? Let me see what the latest one was. Sometimes I post them on my, um, on my stories on Instagram so that everybody else can figure out. We can together as a team figure out what they say. Oh no, these ones are all good. I had, I must have just erased the one I got yesterday. Very confusing. Oops. Remember, if you bring your white over too much or if you feel like it's not blending well, like I'm just going to go back on with just green on my brush and just kind of buff. Buff is the best word I can think for that. Buff it out. And guess what? <laughs> We're doing the same thing again. <laughs> with green. Get on in there. As we're listening to some drum and bass. I guess realistically, if you guys can't hear the music, that's not the end of the world. And then you can just listen to your own if you're watching now or on YouTube later. But I can't be in a quiet room. I would go mental. <laughs> just absolutely mental. If it was just silent in here. Okay. We've got some more little cacti bodies. Because I know it's cacti, but it feels wrong when I say it. Some more little cactus bodies. Feels right. Swipe. I feel like I'm not really walking you through this one because it's so repetitive. How are we feeling, little cacti? Tisses. <laughs> How are you feeling, cacti painters? Are we happy with our little gas? Looking cute! Perfect, perfect, perfect. I know, I forgot. Oh, yeah, you can see Bernie. Hey, Max Brown, first of all. Thanks for the little teethies. I know, I used to have something pretty up there, but now it's just Bernie spying on you. Mom is watching. Mike Wazowski. Uh, pinball fan. You're not happy. Are you not trusting the process? It looks weird right now. It should look weird right now. I tell ya, it'll pop back. It'll come back. I'm running out of green. Oh, pinball. So you're just trolling me. Just got here, so it hasn't even started it. Okay, okay. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Oh my gosh. I just put this in my coffee cup. <laughs> so I, good thing I just finished my last sip before that. That's really funny. See, and that's why I try not to drink. I usually always just have that big, monstrous uh, coffee mug. Uh, not coffee mug. That's why I usually just drink out of my covered lids, because that happens more than you'd like to think. <laughs> just dead. <laughs> it's just my cutie schlob mug. It's just perfect for paint night. Shout out to Sid. Now it has just green paint in it. Okay, this one down here, I don't think I'm going to do anything other than the dark green on it. It's just going to stay in the shadows. We're not going to have to do our little... It's okay if you did, if you're ahead of me and you already did, but... Still cruising along. Let's schlob some green onto this little body. So, Ron, how's it going? How's life in other places? Okay, there we go. 
It's okay if you're just so busy painting that you don't have time to chat. That's fine. Let's get some white in there and we're just gonna... Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of white. Guess what? I'm just gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna put a little water on it. And I'm just gonna buff that baby out of there. Do you talk to yourself while you paint? <laughs> so, well, yes. <laughs> Every paint item, I'm not basically talking to myself. Just kidding. But uh, I won't lie to you guys that when I paint, my brain really, like, shuts. Like, it honestly shuts off. And that doesn't happen. Like, nothing can make my brain shut off. Um, so it's nice. I just put on a show, and I just, like, all of a sudden, it's, like, six hours later, and there's painting. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Iowa Graham, hi Tay, hello. Welcome to the Studes. How are you doing? We're just painting cacti. Pew. A little white highlight on there, buff it out. How's it looking? I might even bring a little bit of lighter green up on here. Bring it up a little higher, maybe. I don't know. It just feels wrong that all the other ones look like that, and that one doesn't. Okay. We've got some highlights, and then right now, while we're waiting for stuff to dry, we can easily clean stuff up. Like, let's go in just to our regular green. Love watching your first time on caffeine. Well, that doesn't go in my mouth. I get that all the time where people ask, like, they're like, what is caffeine? I'm like, well, it's a platform that brings people together. Like, caffeine usually does, right? Tea, coffee, people usually have it together. Um, uh, how is it? How do you like the platform? Are you saying that you came here just because I'm on it? You found yourself here? There's a lot of cool creators on here. Oh, Iowa. It's an honor and a privilege. Also, I feel like that gives me brownie points with caffeine. Right, caffeine? Right? <laughs> Just shouting out to the caffeine gods. <laughs> well, lives are fun. I'm always glad when people make their way here. They're different. They're different than me just talking to my stories by myself. <laughs> it's nice to do them together. Okay, how's that? Do you think we can do heffalumps and woozles? What's a heffalump and a woozle? A heffalump and a woozle. From Winnie the Pooh. See, I thought Dr. Seuss right away too, but from Winnie the Pooh, I'm just gonna Google them. Heffalumps and woozles. Oh, wow, those cute little. These guys. What are these ones? Oh, they're cute. Would they be complex? Maybe they're just their stripes would be. Added to the list. Your dad likes them. I love that. All right. How are we feeling about the cacti? At this point, we can wait till later, but if you want, as we just wait for that stuff to dry. Remember how I said about no mistakes, right? Here, let's see. Where's a good spot? So I'm going to go back to that little brush I used at the start. Just a smaller pointy. Whoop. We're going to go straight into the white with not too much water, but a little bit because we need to help it pull. But we want it to go on pretty opaquely, okay? So, like, see how I just, like, messed up a little bit here. I'm just going to literally white out that little whoopsie. Like, get out of here, guy. 
Sid, that's like how I talk to myself when I'm painting. I'm like, be gone. <laughs> or like if you want to make it a little bit smaller, like skinnier at the top here, like you can. Remember I was talking about I didn't like how some of those connected. I'm being a little picky for sure, but just showing you that like easily if you didn't like something you did, we can just Pow! And the dirt is gone. That's all I could think. There we go. Or dirty mouth, clean it up! Orbit! <laughs> Apparently that's what pops my head instead. Okay, what else? Where else can we fix? I remember this guy too. Like, I just want to make them have just a little bit smaller connection points. Justin, you wanted to do this one? Guess you're gonna have to watch the YouTube video. I'm assuming that you're just running around with your head chopped off story of our lives. That's like my motto. And most said line, probably. Ah, oh, thanks for the cutie hearts. Thanks. You're so kind. At this point, too, there's this very stylistic thing that I do with this big white outline. I know that there's some teachers in art school that probably curse me every time that I do it. But you can also... Sorry, I just had to not breathe for a second. Um, put a white streak in there to pump again, push back this one and bring this one forward. We are going to do a white outline at the end, so it's not the end of the world if you don't do it now. But... I just got a good example of not having enough water on your brush so I can show you guys what that looks like. So do you see how it's like sandpapery right here? It's like, okay, very opaque, very opaque. And you can start seeing the grain of the canvas here. That means there wasn't enough water on my brush. Doesn't mean the end of the world. Like I can literally go right into the water and come right back on there. Like I said, though, I just, I can't breathe when I do outline just hold my breath for a second <sighs> okay i think that will do donkey that's enough for now maybe just that's fun cool and remember when you want stuff to go on pretty opaquely you don't want too much water on it when you want, when you add water, it makes your paint more translucent. Okay, is that a good, is that the right word? I remember I think I got ill or somebody one time to Google, not Google, confirm translucent, transparent, and all those other things. Because I usually say the wrong words often. Okay, what's next? Are we painting? I think we're painting flowers. So of course, like I made pink flowers with a pink background. That was conscious. I thought that was kind of cutie. Um, if you want to be more legible, you can do pink flowers with a different color background. Like whatever. Um, I'm going to stick to the ridge. So I'm going to just get pink out. If you don't have pink, red and white. And you can play like maybe add a touch of yellow in there if you want to coral it out a little bit. This is my favorite pink in the world. It's called a like Quina Rose Dunkle Deck. Oh no, that's not the English one. Quina Rose Deep Opaque. I had to get my art store to back order it because they stopped using it. And it's like my signature pink. Not using it. They stopped uh, supplying it. So they went to the supplier and bought me four. And this one's running low. I gotta put another order. Oh, it's just such a nice pink. I wish it was what my hair could be. Okay, we've got pink or you've got red or white or maybe you want like blue flowers. Like, I don't know. You tell me what you have. Justin over here, my momager being like, might have to be a T Tasty brand product. I won't say no. Manage me. 
<laughs> okay, I'm probably actually going to use the same brush I started with here. And you guys, these flowers are very... <laughs> I don't know why I just... Organically, I wanted to say avant-garde, but that's wrong. It doesn't... That's not what... That's not right. Um, <laughs> but um, they're very, like, abstracted. Like, they're not exact. We're not going to do, like, petal for petal. Like, it's a very just laissez-faire. Is that the right word? I don't know. I don't got words today, you guys. We're just going to figure it out. We are going to actually take out yellow and start with the yellow. You yellow-bellied. Hey, why did that come out so weird? You need like the tiniest pink of yeah, pink, the tiniest little bit of yellow. And then we're going to schlob the pink on exactly Sydney. Y'all know me too well. Lisa's just laughing at me and Justin. <laughs> Honestly, he's the brains behind the operation, you guys. He's the brains. And yeah, you, yeah. Justin's been doing some branding stuff for me and literally schlobs in there. You guys, I'm a painter for the people. People want schlob. Okay, so we're going to start with yellow, and we're literally just going to put... Let's start with this flower down here. Maybe we should zoom in. Let's see. Let's start with this flower down here, and let's just do a little yellow spot. Look how... And you probably can't even see it, but it's so... Like, it's a thick little chunky yellow. Boop. And then up here, too. Where's the other one? Let's just do a little yellow floaty. Bloop. How's that? Why is my computer like, what are you doing? Why are you so loud? What have I done to you? Just streaming. It's never made this sound streaming though. It's a powerhouse of a computer. Okay. We've got some yellow blobs. And we're just going to abstractly <laughs> paint on some petals. If you've been here before, you know that flowers, I have a complex about flowers. I don't know why I can't like paint them nicely. <clears throat> so I can't really teach them nicely because I don't even know how to do them nicely. But from this little spot, we're literally just going to meow. I have a good mix between water and paint on my brush. It's not chocolate milk consistency at all. It's a lot thicker than that. But from that little yellow spot, we're just going to meow. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects are necessary, okay? Ready? How about this one? Look, it's a regular, it's a different size than the other ones. That's fine. We're just going to fill up this space with a beautiful flower, a beautiful butterfly. But we're literally coloring it just like it's kids. Like there's a couple petals. Ooh, there's a small one. This one's going to go right off the page. That's fine. How's that? Aw, so pretty. Painting is too lit. Tell me about it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just <laughs> monotone today. Okay, guess what? This one flower up here is the best. It's the easiest. It's so fun. Ready? We're going to start at the tip of this little guy. And we're just going to go, me, me, me. And just brush from down up. And you're going to want to be kind of light on your brush. A little bit like. Can you see this one like closer? Is that what you're saying? Look, he's just a little puff ball. And if you want, ooh, just got, that's fine. Like you can make them thicker if you want, whatever. We're gonna go in there with some white and stuff in a bit and it'll be fine. And then let's head on up the line here. And let's uh, paint this one up here too. Let's do a big one on the bottom. Beep. And I'm like, I'm not trying to like make a joke of it, but this is, I want to show you just how nonchalant you have to be because you're going to feel like it has to be perfect. But if you made every petal exactly the same and exactly perfect, it would look fake and like a cartoon. And people would be like, why did you paint this meticulously fake flower? Why don't you just slob some paint around and be like, oh, yeah, that's a flower. <laughs> sure. <laughs> because in nature, a flower wouldn't be perfect anyway, right? Okay. Look at that. 
That one's really crazy. But we're just going around the little yellow dot we made. We're going to be going back in there with some white into our pink to give a little bit of value. But if you want, you can color in a little bit of it. Perfectly imperfect. Exactly. All right. Same down here. If you want to just kind of fill in a little bit of the petals, you can go for it. And see how my pink right now isn't covering over the green very well, really. Bring that up a little bit. You can kind of see that the value is a little bit darker on there, and that's fine. With white, a little touch of white in there, we will bump that up later. Oh, look, this looks like that belongs. Like the petals just going fling right off the page. Okay, and let's come up here. Oops. Hey. And let's paint one more little guy. Little tasty, little RCV. You always sneak in here around this time. How are you doing? This flower up here, you guys, is the same as that fun little crazy one down there. We're going to start at the bottom and pull up. Meet, meet, meet. And see what I mean by like sometimes like not having enough water on your brush isn't a bad thing. It's just great to start understanding like when that's happening or why it's happening. Cause then you can use it to your advantage. Like if we look at this close, do you see how it's kind of sandpapery on the little petals there? That means there's not enough water, but it looks like cool, <laughs> but it looks cool. So it's fine. So dry brushing is very useful in some departments. It's just not, um, it's just not all the time. <laughs> Info with Tay, important. Okay, and now we're coming on back to our pink. And we're just gonna start taking a little bit of white, mixing it into our pink. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did before, but a little bit smaller. So see now how we're just kind of going on the inside with this lighter layer of pink. And again, like very messily, it doesn't have to fill out the petals, but see how it's given it a little bit more depth and look of petals, I guess. And you can even still play around look, like even add now another little touch of dark pink in there, right in wet on wet. And we've got a flower. We're still going to put some white outline in there to make it a little bit more. But realistically, like, that's all we're doing. And right now, you're going to look at this flower and be like, I hate it. Because that's how I feel about this flower, too, myself. But we're literally going to go in and put a couple little swipes of white in there. And we're laughing. Because remember what I always say. It's so easy in a painting to get stuck on these little details and work on it for hours like me yesterday. I was painting George frickin' Canyon, and I was painting his teeth, his stupid buck teeth. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, he doesn't have buck teeth, but my painting just kept looking like buck teeth, and I can't even explain to you how many hours. Like, I thought I was going to be done an hour, and I spent, like, four hours painting his teeth. So frustrating. Um, but realistically, if I would have just stepped back from it, like, I'm probably, you wouldn't have even noticed that what I was looking at with the teeth. Like if I look at the six last pictures, they all look the same. So that's what I'm saying about the flower. Same thing. Like when you're close to it and just looking at this flower, you're like, wow, this is a mess. But once we take a step back and we'll look at the whole piece as a whole, it's not going to be as bad. <laughs> okay. Now I'm good. You need this jacket. Oh, match. Thanks. It's kind of a cutie sweater. Hey, don't know why I'm painting in it. Story of my life. Just painting and everything. Ruining all my clothes. <laughs> same thing with these little flaily flowers we're gonna have that little light pink on our brush and we're gonna just swipe a couple times over top of the dark pink quick and painless right let's go up here we're just gonna keep doing the same thing what have i been working on lately well funnily enough because <laughs> the same thing i was working on last time <laughs> that was stupid apartment. It's not stupid. It's a great job. And I love the paintings. But that uh, apartment building, how I uh, 
was filling up uh, all the floors of a new apartment building here in my hometown. And uh, city, maybe, is a better word. And, uh, oops. <laughs> Remember, I was just talking about, like, I shouldn't be painting it. Look what I just did. <laughs> right on my neck. Um... But yeah, so last night, like this morning at like 10 a.m., I finished the last portrait and the portraits uh, were the hardest part. And now I just have four abstracts to finish. And then I'm done and I'm going to cry with joy. And they want to hang them up this next coming up week. So that'll be nice. And then I'll be back to like regular programming, you guys, like regular commissions, like painting dogs again, painting... I know, oh, instead, I can't wait till I open my commissions again. I know, I, I still don't know exactly when it's going to be, but I'm closer. Once I finish, finish this project, I'm so close! I could cry. Okay, I didn't even tell you guys what I was doing, but same old. Like, look, I'm just slobbing some pink, some lighter pink in there, right? Can you guys see my mouse? Oh, you can't even see my mouse. <laughs> so, never mind. I was just circling where I put the lighter pink, but... And same with this little guy. I'm just going in with a little bit of lighter pink, right? And we're just putting a couple little uh, slobbies. Just a couple little slobbies. Okay. How do we feel about our messy little flowers? Remember, you can keep going in. It's like, oh, like maybe you think that you made those light streaks too dark or too much. Like, I'm just going to go back in with my dark pink and just like play over top of it to add some more. Like, you could touch and tweak that forever if you want, depending on how touchy of an artist you are. A little Tay Tasty brand cutie pink on iconic coral. I love that. I honestly, like, can't even handle how exciting the branding booklet is to me. Um, okay. How are those flowers, everybody? Let's, uh, where am I? Let's get back here. Looks, like, pretty great. What time is it? It's quarter after nine. How does stuff take so long on here? Okay. Some of you might want to clean your water. Your water, what you call it, jar, cup goblet i don't know whatever you want mine's pretty green it might mess with your beautiful pinks or whatever background color you are doing right now um i'm just gonna wing it <laughs> but if you want clean out your water here's kenzie coming in with this painting is freaking awesome <laughs> that's a good one hi kenzie good to see you you're the best Okay, are we ready to paint the background? Remember, it doesn't have to be pink. You don't have to follow those um, meat exact like that. But if you are using pink, we have to get lots of white into a little bit of pink because we don't want these flowers to disappear, right? Like if you look at the picture, you can see that the background is significantly lighter than the flowers as to not lose them in the background. So we're grabbing a lot of pink, I mean a lot of white, sorry, with a touch of pink in there. Then we want a little bit of water, and this is just slob city time, you guys. It's great to have white and pink around too, because we like to have a little bit of a variety of color in the background of value. And we're going to come just right onto our canvas, and we're going to come close to, but not touching our cacti okay maybe do we need to be close do you see that see i'm coming close to but not fully touching it's okay if it's messy like i'm all for the messy painted line y'all know me you want a little bit of water on your brush so you can pull stuff around and you can go like straight into your white and maybe like bring some little streakies of white in there right have fun on this part like you can be so free in the background painting supposed to be stress-free 
Oops, I touched the cactus there, but that's fine. Uh, you also can touch the cactus if you want. I like to have that wispy painterly edge on there. But that's just me, okay? How's that? Add a little touch of water if things aren't pulling well. You can go back on spots that you've already painted just to add some fun, like, color value difference. Like, oh, let's put some pure white in there and see what happens. Right? Oh, that was a little bit too much white, maybe, but that's... We'll just keep going. All right? Oh wow, see look, like that obviously is too dark because you can see it's basically the same color of the pink that we already did. That's not a problem, like I'm gonna pull that paint around the canvas a little bit more in a couple more spots and then just go right back over top of it with some white and just kind of pull it around a little bit. All right? And I go back into your white and bring pure white on there. How's that? Mario? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's in my head. My head just repeats songs, okay? Anarchy is a me painting with the song in the background. Are you saying should we all paint our own me's? Is that what you're saying? How's that? See, it's kind of like nice and like tie dye or whatever. I'm coming close to, but not touching all of um, the things we've already painted. Remember, I feel like I didn't talk about it enough when I was down here, but if you're painting that flower over top your cactus and the green is popping through, I would suggest to paint pure white right over top that green and let it dry and then put the pink on top. Usually that helps. Okay, still just cruising along. Some of you might want to get a smaller paintbrush. Maybe. I think the big one's fun. Just all about having fun, you guys. <laughs> That's what painting's all about. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my chiropractor's trying to get me to stop crossing my legs all the time. I'm trying to get better. Just my terrible posture 101. Okay, how's this? Need a little more white in there. There we go. Oh, oops. Completely uh, forgot a spot. Remember, water is your friend. You might want to change your water if it's too green. Okay. How's that? Realistically, like you can put glitter on the background at this stage. You can splatter the background if you want. I think it's cool as is, hey? Remember, your paint will always, always dry darker on your pal on your canvas than it looks on your palette. Oops. <laughs> Just a little too dark in there. So if uh, once your paint dries, you think, you think, you think, 
you think that your paint looks a little too dark, well, that's totally fine. You can literally go right back over top and do the whole thing again with just a little bit of lighter colors or just pop into some areas with some lighter color. Right? How's that? How you like them apples? Okay. We basically... What we are gonna do while we wait for that to dry... Okay, let's just start drawing. What should we do first? Maybe let's take our yellow out first. We're gonna get a medium sized brush. It's okay if you're still going. This is a very simple little steppy, but isn't too crazy. So I got a medium sized brush. It's a little bit thicker than the outlining brush we were using before. We're gonna get our water. <laughs> We say we're gonna get our water wet. We get our brush wet, and we're gonna go into our yellow. And we don't want lots of paint on our brush. We want it to be translucent, so we want more water than anything. And it might feel weird. And do your first swipe, and if you don't want to do it after, then you don't have to do this step. But it is what it is in the picture that I'm copying. So we're gonna come and do a swipe of yellow. But it's a watered down swipe of yellow. Let me should bring it close. So it's gonna dry nice and translucent. Do you see that on there? Again, you don't have to do this step if you don't like it. But it's just another way to add a little bit of color. We are gonna add a little bit of yellow on this side too, but if your border's not, if your background's not dry yet, we don't have to do that step. But remember, really watered down. We just want a little light, subtle color change in there. Hardly any paint, mostly water. I don't know why I turn everything into like a shitty song. <laughs> And I know that I just said everything's going to dry darker <laughs> on your canvas <laughs> versus your palette. But if your paint's very watered down, that's actually a lie. So sorry, I just taught you so poorly. <laughs> but when paint's very watered down because it's going to dry and the water's going to release from it and it's just going to be that light paint. Look at me just lying like a jerk. But see how it's very subtle? You can even go in, again, with just water on your brush. Very lightly go over top of that yellow if you think it's too strong or there's not enough water or you want to buff it out. A water on your brush is... I mean, a water-filled brush is very handy with things like that. I'm sure your backgrounds probably aren't dry yet, so you don't have to do this part. But we are going to do just on the left hand side of all of our cactuses is going to be a yellow little outline almost. See? Whoop. Whoop. Uh, yeah, Justin Technarwal, you should paint. Make it a family affair. You guys should have done Pikachu. Amazon in the States is so much easier to get supplies. You guys have such a better variety of paint. Justin will help you with that. Right, Justin? <laughs> there we go. Look, we'll get some. Knew it! For a fee. It's a momager expense. Okay, we've got some yellow. Beauty. We can paint over his white rug. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I see videos of people like just painting in their family rooms or like on a couch or on the floor on a rug, it stresses me out. Look, I just got paint on my collar of my, you never know where paint's gonna go. 
I know some artists are like way cleaner, but that's just, what can you do? Okay, so we've got some yellow in there, and now for the best part. We're just gonna put a little bunch of spots on here. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just get your black out while you guys are finishing that yellow. I know I'm kind of moving a little quick. Let me know if I stress you out. Because when nobody's telling me to go fast or slow, I usually just work at my own brain speed, and it's, it's a mile a minute, you guys. I'm just gonna get my black out though. I'll wait while you guys do that. And again, black is a powerful pigment. You only need a tiny touch of it. A little goes a long way. If you ain't first, you're last. Just kidding, I know that you said that for something else, but it just fit into my brain. We're doing little polka dot bikinis. Get a little brush. If you have a paint marker, realistically, that will be very easy. I'm using the same brush we started with, a little pointer. We want it wet, but not too wet. We want the paint to go on pretty thick. And we're literally just going to paint on some polka dots. We want them to be different size, like there's a little one, and how about this one's a little bit bigger? Teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini. Okay, Kenzie, just bringing moist in here. Why does that word make us all so uncomfortable? Painting is hard when your puppy's lying under you, passing gas. Puppy fart. You guys, my puppy fever is very high. So that was almost rude of you to tell me I have a puppy. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> but it's so high, I I need a puppy. Justin's too. Oh my god, Justin, why don't you get one? You should get one. Oh my gosh. Justin, you should. And I'll live vicariously through you. Okay, see how some are big, some are small? Some are gonna go like over the edge, maybe. Is it just like you don't wanna like train one in an apartment? Does that make sense? Oh, and you don't have a, pet, a balcony either. Oh yeah, Justin's gonna have three corgis like the queen. <laughs> Isn't one gonna be named Mochi? Oh man, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> you need cheese, I hear they love those. Mochi, Katsu, and Noki. Kenzie, when I was at your house, though, I did not feel like I was, like, dying in cat hair. Like, obviously, there's three of them in there, and obviously there is cat hair, but I don't feel like it was, like... Like, you know, sometimes there's, like... I'm just gonna, just putting it out there that I grew up <laughs> in a house that never had pets. My mom didn't like animals. She was very clean, and pets are dirty, right? <laughs> and uh, so I didn't grow up with, like fur and like pets that shed and i truly think you have to grow up with it to like be used just to be used to it um because i couldn't i couldn't handle having to deal with like what you call it uh, lint removing myself every time i leave and i had to like look after our neighbor's cat once shout out to hillary um i literally would have to strip off my clothes at the door because then like you put your clothes in the wash and then it doesn't, the, the wash doesn't get them off either. I don't know how you do it. But no, Kenzie, I didn't feel like I was, it was in a hair fill. There's sometimes where you feel like where people have like just tufts of fur because they have like a German shepherd or something, like a poor pup that just sheds so much. Yeah, just, yeah, Oz hair, exactly. Oh yeah, when I get a dog, or when we get a dog, sorry, I'm not going to say I, it'll be ours, but um, it won't be, it'll for sure be a hairless one. For sure, for sure. 
I know I love Oz too. He's the sweetest boy. Tay's boyfriend, sorry. <laughs> Oz is my American boyfriend. Don't tell Daniel. <laughs> How are our little spots going, everybody? Some are big, some are small. Oz does love me. I'm the only girl he's ever matched. <laughs> I'm just joking. But he does, and I love him too. We cuddle. 2020, COVID made me not be able to visit Oz. So everyone knows Oz is a dog. <laughs> yeah. That's fair, actually. It probably would be confusing if we didn't put that out there. Oops, that's not a good circle. I'm just going to make that one bigger until it looks better. I don't think I'm ever going to get another pet until my children move out in 2024. See? So that's like my mom. And I, like, <laughs> I was such a little jerk as a kid because I just wanted a pet so bad. I always joke that I've wanted a dog out of the womb. Since I came out of the womb, I've wanted a dog out of the womb. That could, that comes, uh, that sounds a little different. But my parents, the jerks that they are, <laughs> they would just every Christmas buy me a life-size stuffed dog. So, like, I was that kid that, like, in her room had, like, seven life-size dogs, like, a Rottweiler, a German Shepherd, a Husky, a Bernese Mountain Dog. They're like dumb fake fur and I would just like carry them around. And they would like buy me books that you were supposed to buy kids that just got a real puppy. Where it's like, my dog's name is, and there's like a blank spot. And it's like, he is this big and whatever. And they would just buy me that for me to just write my own facts about my own dogs. No, they didn't shit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, actually. Wow, Janimal, I know. How rude, right? I remember there was one I called him Mojo, like the candies. And he was a Bernese mountain dog. And it's so funny because, like, little dumb Taylor, like, didn't know that she would not be able to handle the Bernese, how much they shed. <laughs> but my cousin has a Bernese, and it just is the sweetest dog ever. But yeah, guys, there's pictures of me with all my dogs, like a little freak, just, like, <laughs> so happy. Thanks, mom and dad. And I think one time they're like, if you make it on the honor roll, you'll get a dog. And I I didn't. You guys, I didn't make it on the honor roll in grade eight. I truthfully feel like they wouldn't have got me one anyway, but I failed to know. So they knew that's what you needed. <laughs> yeah. uh. Guess you didn't want a dog bad enough, I know. I know. That's literally what she said, Kenzie. You're bringing up childhood trauma right now. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna call and yell at my mom later. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, mom. That's funny, that's how I think I was telling Kenzie or whatever, because my sweet mom was trying to help me out, because I told you guys that this latest painting the Thursday therapies yeah I'm just in therapy with you guys now you guys are all my counselor um this project of this apartment building has obviously been just like mentally pushing me very hard <laughs> and, um, um my mom I think I sent a picture of Celine Dion to her and I was like why can't I paint this bitch right because <laughs> she was just driving me crazy and like my mom called and was like oh like maybe you can like do this and i was having none of it i like fighting my poor mom just trying to help me and i was like i'm obviously mentally unwell <laughs> we'll we need to talk after i'm done this project <laughs> god damn celine's nose you guys got me celine's nose george canyon's teeth and what else something else and michael jackson's left eyeball <laughs> Is what stumped me on this project. That darn left eyeball. It was a huge project. I know. I think I under... I did. Not I think. I did really underestimate it. 
And I always hope that the people who commissioned it don't like see my stories where I call it like this goddamn project. I love the project and I'm so proud and happy of it. It's just, yeah, when things take a long time, it's just, it stumps me and I get pissed. Like right now, I'm like, why are these little dots taking me so long? I hate it. Don't you hate that? Like, no, like that. <laughs> she was like my, it was me just being like so rude because she was like, just like fix, make her nose straight. I'm like, how? <laughs> I'm not a magician. <laughs> and I'm never like short ever. <laughs> I'm just not okay. <laughs> Did you go to art school? <laughs> yeah. I'm such an asshole. I was like, okay, I'm going to check myself and realize that I'm not okay. <laughs> we'll just talk later, mom. Love you, sweet soul. <laughs> I didn't create it. Oh, you mean Justin? <laughs> Stop it, Justin. <laughs> Justin, a.k.a. my mom. Sometimes I think Justin just missed out fires me and he is actually my mother. Yeah, some days I just need to bathe in the negativity for sure <laughs> i just need to feel pity for myself that i can't i'm the worst painter i can't paint celine's nose and drake's chesticles that's gonna be just to get another jab at justin because he hates the testicle word too okay how are these coming along boop Beep, 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 beep. Like I said, if you had a paint marker, it's probably a lot easier, but that's okay. All right. How do we feel about that? We're so close to being done. Feels pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've got the dots. We've got the dots. Beep, beep, beep. We're just going to take out our white and we're going to outline stuff and then we're going to make some little flick flicks. What time is it? 9.37. Wow. I thought we were going to be done this in like a minute. It's a good jam. <laughs> just... I'm out of here, you guys. My brain's gone. Okay. Last two steps. White. Get a small outlining brush. Again, you might want to clean your water. I'm just going to live dangerously and not <laughs> do that today. We're just going to live with dirty water, and that's fine. I need a little more white on my palette. Yo, zero, you painted? You got paints? Excuse me? Not real paint Photoshop. Mm, kip, 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 Where I'm still proud. Let me see, send Justin the picture to send to me. <gasps> he gave up. I'm speechless, it's unacceptable. Rule number four is trust the process and don't give up, okay? Zero, I'm offended. I, I like, d the background is something hard. To <laughs> you had to leave, okay, respect, respect. <laughs> the background's a hard one today to do digitally for sure. That don't sound like you trusted the process, I know. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, but he's, he's saying he had to leave. He doesn't give up. We'll give it to him. I'll trust you this time. Justin will send me the picture and we'll decide. Okay, so for this white, really straightforward, we're just going to do a big old chunky, just confirm that white outline around your cacti. If you painted it good enough, ignore that step. What we do need to do for sure if your outline's fine <clears throat> is you need to paint some little petals in that flower right i don't give up however i did send it to help others feel better look at that a man for the people 
Even though I'm sure it's not bad, because last time that you didn't like your owl, it was also great, okay? So in our flower, you guys, we are just going to do a couple rough outlines. Basically what we did before, but like, look. Like, look at that close, you guys. It looks like a blob, like of nothing. If somebody came in and was like, what am I looking at? But from far away, oh my god, oh no. I just dropped my paint, my canvas in the paint. But from far away, you can see that he's looking great. I'll never forgive myself for giving up the fox. Ashlyn, I know because that video is not even live. I mean, not even recorded. One day we'll do the fox again. Also, thanks for the heart zero supporting the cause, you sweet soul. I know, Ashlyn, I'll never forgive you either. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's okay if you guys give up. There's paintings that I, like, put away for long periods of time. Like, let them sit, like, time out. So, in a sense, I give up on them for a little bit. So, if you guys have to give up during a paint night, like, don't kick yourself. I still feel, <laughs> instill fear into your students. Sorry, not Sorry. I just outlined that flower. And realistically too, depending on how stylized you want, like you can outline this little guy. I'm only doing that because it was outlined in my picture before, but don't even, if you don't want to, then don't. Madge gives up before they even start. Rude. That's rude. Let's go like this. I'm just gonna add some white in there. I did the monkey with the cup and could not get his toes, so I just did the pads. You guys, I'm not going to tell you who, but one of the portraits in the paint, in the big piece, the big commission I just did, um, I couldn't get her hand right either, and I just left it because no one else that I showed said anything about it, so I've just backed away like... Homer Simpson into a bush, just pretending like it, oops, <laughs> just pretending like it actually looks like it, even though it doesn't. It's fine. I hate hands and feet too. Sometimes you gotta ad lib. Sometimes I'll literally throw like a wisp of hair over like a finger that I can't get right. Or fun fact, the David Bowie that I have that is painting, a, I mean singing, a, <laughs> the David Bowie that I've painted who is playing the saxophone I could not, you guys, for the life of me, get his hands right. So I literally just went, and I just painted like a stylistic paint swatch slob, schlob, actually, right through it. And uh, then did them all over the canvas to make it look like it belongs. And then nobody knows <laughs> until now when I expose myself. I'm calling the police, says Kenzie. <laughs> uh, Madge, whoa, I just noticed you changed your wooden thingy that holds your canvas. Yeah, I bought a new one. I still have the other one because that one, my grandma, um, when she passed away, I got all of her paint stuff and that's one of them. So I didn't throw it out. It's just in my other paint station. Now I just have a streaming station. And this stuff all stays here, so I don't have to every frickin' paint night day rearrange my whole studio, because that's what I used to have to do, and it was a drag. Um, so yeah, I got a new one. All right. We only have one more step left, you guys. And like, look how messily I'm doing these parts, right? Like, I, I like that messy painterly look. Some people like to be a little more tedious and a little slower and smooth, and that's not a crime either. Go for it. Okay. Literally, the only thing that we have to do to finish it up is these little mole hairs. I'll bring this flower close again so you can see. Like, I literally just drew a flower in it with white. Grunge Mania, hello. Isn't it cutie? Just some cutie cacti. Just like the tea towels that Lisa bought. Me. Which still hang proudly in our kitchen. 
Actually, one of them doesn't because Kenzie and I exploded some fake champagne all over my kitchen. And that towel was the first thing we could grab to save the day. <laughs> I love that it's literally like 945. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna... I thought we were gonna be done a while ago. I'm taking out another little small brushy. Almost the same as this one. And we're gonna go right into our black. We're gonna get a little bit of water on it because we wanna be able to pull the canvas around. Not the canvas, the paint around. We're just gonna go and paint some little hairs. Some mole, 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 mole. Ready? Out of some of the dots we've already drawn. Maybe I'm gonna use a smaller brush actually. Maybe a little teeny. -a. Same thing though, mostly paint, some water to pull across, and let's just go fwing, fwing. Should I zoom in for that? Look at those little molies. Ming, ming. How about one in there too? One of them has one. Maybe this one has one. I don't know. Again, pretty random. Oh, that was kind of a crazy one, but we're going for it. How's that? Stace, are you going to want to paint the cacti? Is this a painting you'd want to do? Oops, I'm not even I'm painting off screen. Again, you can always look at my reference photo that I'm looking at to see exactly where you put them. Oh yeah, I guess we already did do cactuses on here before, didn't we? If you scroll down to my YouTube channel, you'll see another cactus one. It's basically like this. It's not that different. I think there's a pot on it, so you can like decorate a little pot, which is kind of cute. This is also just a PSA. If you're like new to my paint nights, like they get better as we go. I learned technology as we went. I learned how to teach people because like when I first started paint nights, I did not know what I was doing. And I feel like people usually go to the older ones because I was painting like what seems to be easier stuff. And I always feel bad. I'm like, guys, I'm a better teacher in the new ones. Like come back up here. <laughs> How's that? Fun night as always, night day. Oh, Lisa, thanks for the cuties and for your attendance. How's that? I think we're done. I think we're done. I'll wait for a little bit while you guys poke poke away but I think that's basically it isn't it I missed the Tiger King painting crazy to think I've been making it to lives for a year now you know what that is really crazy to think that I've been doing at least one if not two because I used to do two paint nights a week right for over a year that's a lot of paint eyes, you guys. There are on my website, or not my website, on my YouTube, let's see. I miss the Tiger King. I miss Tiger King time, to be honest. I feel like it was such a more stress-free time. Okay, I have... I have 54! paint nights on my YouTube. That's pretty crazy. 54 different things that you guys can paint. This will be the 54th. I think. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Did you guys see my sponge lady video? <laughs> 55! I posted my sponge lady video on YouTube too. Okay, you guys, how are the cactuses? How do we feel? What a time to be alive. <laughs> 
so solid. Adam and I thought of her right away. So happy to it. It's funny because I didn't, like, I haven't thought about the sponge lady in years. And then once I watched the video back again, I was like, wow, I'm giving those, I'm giving sponge lady vibes hard. And then it wasn't until I started, like, actually splicing it, like, back together, back to back, that I was like, oh my god, I am her. <laughs> you heard of her, like, two years ago? Oh my god, she's from, like, I'm pretty sure I lived in Fort McMurray when I learned about 55 lady. So that's like junior high. Not 55 lady. Wow, sorry, I just read your other comment. When I uh, learned about the sponge lady at Found Footage Fest. What's Found Footage Fest? And oh man, how are you gonna make a thumbnail for this one? Good call, you guys. How do I make a thumbnail for the cactus? Do I just become a cactus? With a flower right here. I'll just Photoshop a flower. It's two guys who collect old VHSs and put the best of the best together and tour and show them at film fests. Wow. That's good. That's a cool... I would love that. Nico here with poke one of the needles and make a painful face. Oh my god, that's a good one. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Kessie... Don't point out how delusional I am right now. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can't. It's noticeable. It's not like I'm hiding it well or anything. Um, Wait, we got to look at everybody's pictures first. And then... Well, first I'm going to go to Found Footage Festival on IG. Quick. Found Footage festival beauty i love that okay there's that and then if have you guys been sending in your pictures let's see who sent me some did anybody send me some yeah you did <laughs> that's good it's tough but it's good um, what am I doing? I'm showing you Instagram. Let me see here. <laughs> Anytime you like something, that's good. That's just good. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's see Instagram. We're gonna just see Kenzie's she tagged me in something else soon that I that you're gonna see there too, but here's Kenzie's cactus. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> oh, you kill me. That is good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this pup while she paints. Also, look at this beautiful cacti. Oh, so cute. Justin, you have to send me zeros. But And then everyone, this is Winston. Let me see. Oh, this one is just a little kitty in the background. Oh, I love him. I haven't seen, there's no other ones right now. We're waiting on the other ones and that's okay. Did he have butt cheeks? Well, yeah, let's go back. Um, yes, he does have butt cheeks. <laughs> he does have butt cheeks. Oh, my hands are filthy. I was like, I taste paint. That's weird. Oh, Iowa, good night. Thanks for making it to your first live. I love that. We'll come back to the main for now. I love that. Huh? And we'll try to sneak in those Winnie the Pooh characters. I truthfully didn't remember them. I haven't seen um <laughs> Winnie the Pooh <laughs> my brain just took like a pause you can just see my brain go fling out the door um I haven't thought about Winnie the Pooh in so long I haven't seen it but they're so cutie and they're little like patterned clothes they will be cute super cute well, we're on intermission. Everyone watched Yellowstone. Okay, thanks. Okay, I assume that I have to watch it, Kenzie. This is the fourth time you've brought it up in the last two days. 
So I will watch it. Is it slow for my brain? Oh, there's more than one season? No, watch Tell Me Your Secrets. Ooh, guys, let's just talk about shows. It wears Tell Me Your Secret. What um what platform's that on? Let's see, Tell Me Your Secrets. Tell me your secrets. Not on Netflix. Me and Kenzie both like, oh, Prime. Easy, easy, easy. What's everyone's thoughts on astral projection? <laughs> I was literally just going to bring up that show. The new hotel one on Netflix was interesting. I agree. I I remember you guys as a kid. Kid. Whatever. When was it? 2010? Seeing that video of her in the elevator going viral. And I remember thinking that she was possessed. And uh, I thought it was cool to see that there was a documentary about it. Okay, Zero. You guys, is Zero still here? Justin just sent me your... It's so good! Look at it! You just didn't draw the flowers! So you just have one little floating cactus up here. You just have a floating cactus because you don't have a flower. It's literally exactly. It's literally exactly the same. <laughs> you guys are so encouraging of me. I really appreciate it. But hit me up if you want to buy it. Mad pricey. Get those mad dollars. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, Iowa. Sorry, we're talking about Cecil Hotel. Of course, it does look like... Yeah, but I think at the time, I didn't really know what that was when I saw it. You know what I mean? Like, I honestly think that I was... If it was 2007... When was it, you guys? When was it again? I know I watched the show, so I should know the year, but... I feel like I just wasn't aware of what that would look like at the time. I actually talked about that with my masseuse today. We talked about Cecil Hotel. And she was like, she's tripping. I saw right away, she's tripping. But um, I'm not going to spoil anything, because so you don't know. Who knows what happens? But it was just cool that that's, that's the same with Don't Fuck the Cats. Have you guys seen that? I know Kenzie won't watch it because she doesn't want to see cats in that way. But they don't show it. Um, so don't fuck with cats. It's a docu same. It is. Um, and it's another thing that I remember seeing on the internet. I remember seeing those videos when they came out when I was again, like back in the day. I think I lived in Fort Murray. I still have those ones too. Just on the dark web, Googling weird shit and you could see weird stuff. And don't fuck with cats is on Netflix and it's a docu series about, um, again, I won't spoil it, but somebody was posting videos on the internet of like doing terrible things to cats and then internet sleuths caught it and then tried like these people, just normal everyday people at home were just like using like Google street view and maps and searching things and like finding things in the videos to see like where he's from to like try and figure out who he is because he was like killing cats on the internet, which is like, and so like obviously they're like, this guy's going to do something weird. He's obviously not okay. Emotional toilet paper. I'm so sorry. We're just a beautiful cactus. We're talking about a docu-series, Don't Fuck With Cats. And it's a great, like, it's, I, like, might even watch it again because it's just so interesting how these people, like, these everyday normal people just use the internet to, like, solve a crime, basically. It's good. And I know that people who love cats, because, look, Grunge Mania is another, so there's like Stacey and Kenzie both don't want to watch it because they don't want to see cats being injured. But they don't show the acts. Like they show somebody watching the video of it happening, but they don't show the video of it happening. They show like little clips before ends, but you don't see, don't worry, you don't still, you don't see cats. 
Kenzie, you can watch just people getting murdered, but not. <laughs> well, not like, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't know what's on the inside of the cat. They won't show it. Kenzie doesn't give a fuck about people. It's fair. Just the kitties. So if you want to watch a twisted docu-series, don't fuck with cats. But if you want to watch a mock you series that is another like same outline where it's like they're solving crimes or whatever, but it's actually fake, so you don't have to worry about it. Vandal. Vandal? Is it called American Vandal? Or am I out of my mind? American Vandal, yes. Another, you guys, great. American Vandal is great. Do I only watch stuff on psychopaths? I do love good murder, but no. American Vandal is not psychopath. It's just like a crime. There's like a crime in one of them. Somebody spray paints dicks all over the teacher's cars. And so it's like, they're trying to figure out who did it. And it sounds ridiculous, but it's filmed so well. And then the next season is like somebody, um, they're so good. I hope that they come up with another season because they're so good. Um, and the next one, there's someone called the Poop Vandal, and he does, like, pranks with, like, he, <laughs> you guys, what do I explain? He's the turd burglar! <laughs> yes! Yes! <sighs> I highly recommend it. I honestly could, I probably will watch it again. It's a good show. American Vandal, also on Netflix. <laughs> Emotional toilet paper! There's no judging here, okay? We just watched Behind Her Eyes, and that one was pretty weird. I posted about it on my story that I loved it, and a lot of people didn't love the ending, but I, Kenzie and I both really did. I thought it was really creative. We're just, we're just talking about shows. This has changed into shows. She goes from painting to murder and poop. <laughs> You're not wrong. My boyfriend hate like my whole family, my mom, my sister, all of us just love murder shows. Like my sweet mother will, oh, I just punched my face. My sweet mom will go on her walks. She goes on a walk every day and she will listen to Dateline podcasts. Just loves it. Her arms were cut off. Her legs were cut off. Her ears were cut off. And Dan's like, you could murder me. And no one will know because I have so much knowledge. But I'm like, no, I'm too clumsy and I'm bad at that. <laughs> Joe Kaiser. It's the same time every Thursday, I swear. <laughs> you did miss it, but not. I'm still here. I'm still here. Don't worry. We're just gabbing. We're just gabbing about shows to watch. The Casual Criminalist is an amazing podcast. You know what? I wish so badly that I could listen to podcasts. I wish. I wish. But with my ADD, you guys, like, it'll... It's bad. <laughs> oh, Natalie! Oh, did you? Did I even look at yours? Did you send it? Oh, wait! You guys, we didn't look at hers. It turned out beautiful. Off to bed. Thank you with your cutie little painting helper. It turned out great. Love the flowers on that one, too. Um, good night. Good night. What were we talking about? Me not being able to listen to podcasts? <laughs> Because, like, all of a sudden, my, like, ADD will click and I will, like, not even notice that I haven't been paying attention. And I'm like, wait, what? And I have to, like, rewind and find my spot. And then it's, like, two minutes in. It's like, I'm back to... I just can't do it. I can't. And there's something different. With TV, I also, blend, like, zone out, too. But I just, like, watch it over and over again. If you don't cut off your ear and send it to Dan, you're not a real artist. <laughs> you guys, Van Gogh cut off his ear and sent it to a prostitute that he loved he loved her and how did that go for him not well you know what's really funny though when we were in Amsterdam we went to the Van Gogh Museum and it was like eerie how many resemblances that I have to Van Gogh eerie ah right <laughs> 
<laughs> me and Dan were like reading his like timeline. We're like, oh, right. It was like dropped out of art school, moved back home with their parents. I'm like, oh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> and like, didn't know what his style was. So painted so, so many different things and like how he found color and how he found his process. Like all of it is the same. Number one, we're both men. Two lies and a truth. Can you imagine opening that package? Oh, Van Gogh, he was so troubled. And then now it's just so crazy to think like he wasn't really well off and then he died and then his family's just like making money off of him till the end of time. Like in the museum, there was like a big like hutch and it was like the hutch that held all of the letters that he wrote to his family. And then you can like pick up a phone and it would be just like romanticized, like actors pretending to be him. And he wasn't English either, right? So they had to make all that up. And you could hear his like letters that he wrote to people. And it was so cool because there's no pictures, right? Like you couldn't take pictures of stuff. And he would literally draw, like he'd be at a beach and he would draw the beach and he would write what the colors would be. If you didn't have markers, we'd have like a black Conte stick or something. And it would be like the ocean with boats and then it would be like blue where it should be blue. And he's like, I'm sitting on the beach right now. And he'd like send, it's just so cool. Could you imagine if he had social media? Oh gosh, it would be a dangerous game for sure. If he had social media, he would share it too much. He'd be canceled. Poor Van Gogh. I realized now that I streamed that these Glasses fall all the time and I'm just pushing them up like a grandma every day. Okay, what am I doing? We're taking a reference photo. He goes live cutting off his ear. <laughs> yes. Um, let me see. Let's go to the thumbnail screen. Oh, there's just a Tighten the legs of my it's not just because I'm greasy. I thought it was just because I was a greasy gal. Oh, get out of here. Get out of the screen. There's canvases there, so I'll just turn that. <laughs> it probably is. I am greasy as well. Who are we kidding? Okay. So I liked what Nico said. I got to paint on moles. I'm going to Photoshop those babies on. I'll break out like a mother. My skin is not nice for that. But I will. Maybe I'll just make myself green. And I'll just do this and I'll put maybe my, maybe my bun will be a flower. Which side should I put it on? This side. Buy our strips and the chats. Yeah, literally get that greasy face out of here. Okay, this flower shall be, I mean, this bun shall be a flower. This will go here. I'll be over here like a cactus. <laughs> anything else oh no Nico said I should be like like I get pricked like ow be a camel excuse me that doesn't make sense does it does this make it too dark if I'm like this I like being a cactus I feel like I should just make myself green and paint on the moles right That's it, you guys. Camels hang out in the desert. That's fair, I guess, hey? Not wrong. You're not wrong. So to be a camel? <laughs> that was my camel. <laughs> oh, Tadway, coming in at the end. Sharing the broadcast like the sweet soul you are. Thank you. We're just trying to find the perfect thumbnail. Should I be a happy cactus or a serious cactus? That was a sad one. Yeah. Photoshop yourself as a Minecraft cactus. Ooh, I could do that. I could do that. This is it. This is all we got. <laughs> There's something screeching in there for sure. 
okay, well, guys, I don't even have my schedule made. Hey, if that's your serious face. I know. I have a problem. I don't have a serious face. <laughs> okay. I don't even have my schedule for the month yet. So we don't, I can't even tell you yet. But Sunday, do I have it on here? Sunday, I will have the schedule and the jellies, right? Ashlyn, there is a jelly on my YouTube, right? But let me find your picture again. Let me find your picture again. I was just talking about that earlier. Do, 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 Ashlyn. We're drawing popsicles in August. We've got lots of time, but that's scheduled in there, which is nice. So why can't I find your Ash? Oops, I forgot the E in Ashlyn. Oh, but those are cool. Look at the jellies. Man, those are cool. How have you not done Saturn? Oh, I guess, hey, that's kind of on brand, isn't it? Just a little on brand, isn't it? <laughs> we can add some planets. Ooh, like a glittery space, uh, like a galaxy spacey planet would be fun. Lots of splatter and shiza. On Sunday, I'll figure it out. Glitter. Yeah, exactly. Glitter, splatter. Fun. We can do it. I gotta get neon paints or like glow in the dark paints. Yeah. See, fluorescent. Glow in the dark's very hit or miss. Um, because after time, it will still fade, I feel like. I just have a couple paintings that I put glow in the dark and it looked great, fresh. And then it just died. But fluorescent, like neon ones, are good. They last forever. Okay, fam. We don't know what we're going to be painting next Thursday, but we know that we will be painting next Thursday. Sunday, the schedule will be out. Good night, everyone. Thanks for painting with me. I'm going to go make dinner and I'm going to bed. Probably. We'll see. Now I have energy. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good night, everybody. Catch you on the flip side. I was going to go, and adieu. <laughs> Put me to bed. Oh my god. Okay, bye you guys.